So I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't really think about the duration nerf and I didn't think it would be that big a deal. But then I started playing a game and I started actually thinking to myself like, wait, that actually really matters. Wait, that's gonna really suck. And then like during that game, I thought to myself like, wait, it's gonna be so easy for Aatrox to lose Conqueror. Tobias. What? Tobias Fate. What? Tobias. Listen, I heard it. I want to read everyone the change here, okay? I want everyone to read this change in Conqueror. We're making it last a shorter period of time, which hits ranged champions more since they're f able to f take full advantage of the long duration in lane. Just so we're clear, nerfing the duration of Conqueror affects ranged champions more than melee. Honestly, I, I honestly believe these patch notes have to be a call for help. They have to be. They have been invaded, they are being held at gunpoint, and they are putting out the dumbest patch Gun notes tradition. ever so that someone can come save them. Aatrox is a 3 in damage, which is absurd. He's one of the lowest damage bruisers in the game. 3 in toughness, again, absurd. 2 in crowd control, 2 mobility, 2 whatever the left is, I can't see. Aatrox should have 3 utility, 2 mobility, 2 crowd control is fine. Toughness and damage should both be two at best. I mean, he's more damaging than a low damage character, I'll give him that, but three damage? A dude that takes four seconds to kill an AD carry is not three damage. That's I assuming you miss all your Qs? No, dude, you play... No, it's assuming you crit all your Qs. Dear God, if you oh. miss them... Yeah, you're not killing anything. No, I mean, every fucking time I play Mord, how do you kill an AD carry on Mord? You, you fucking, like, you hit him with one Q and, like, a proto belt and they're dead. And you're like, yay! Mord. How do you kill someone on Aatrox and AK and Aatrox? You have to like triple crit Q over a W, like two. No, mm, I don't know. I ban Aurelia because she shits on Aatrox. It's actually, I've decided it's actually just impossible at this point. Every other lane I've managed to get out of without dying, I literally cannot lane against Aurelia without dying with Aatrox. Okay, calling Aatrox a three in toughness is insanity. Three toughness. I mean, that's literally the it maximum. Make sense. Like, like, that's it, like one level. Yeah, like, like again, like, there are three toughness, like, Mundo, Orn, uh, Maokai, that's what I call three toughness. Probably when he had the revive on ult, yeah, maybe. You have to kill the champ twice. I keep telling my chat, like, they're like, oh, give him back his revive, then I'll be good. I'm like, then he'll be overpowered. Like, how is, how does anyone believe anything other than that? It's pretty obvious to me, and I just don't get it. A lot of people don't realize, it comes down to time. If you have to spend plus four seconds killing Aatrox because of the revive, mm -hmm. and he gets to walk back into his team during it, that makes him... <sighs> Unironically, one of the tankiest fuckers in the game. I don't know, the revive was stupid. It's Nidalee Top. What the f- Sorry, not Klepto. What is it? Kaleido. God, that does not roll off the tongues. Yeah, I got a fart. Very different. I'm so sorry. By the way, okay, you know what? I want to say this because I feel like that you played Aatrox for like the one month before his rework and you're like, I was an Aatrox main. For like five years, Aatrox's revive was on a, I think it was like a four or five minute cooldown. So saying it was like a core to his identity is insanity to me. The whole thing, okay, the whole thing about Aatrox, right? If you actually ever noticed that Aatrox had a revive, you probably fucked up. So those of us who are good at Aatrox, uh, we didn't know that Aatrox had a revive actually. It took me to my 500th game until I learned it. Twitch, in a show of sheer irony, one of the problems with Aatrox before his rework was that he was actually considered too, too, I shit you not, too high skill for your average player. Because your average player could not attack, move, and kite as fast as was needed. Now, doing W level 2. I couldn't help him. There was nothing I could have done, I fucked the combo up anyways. Fiddle's gonna be mid again. Oh fuck so off. Really? I do not think this is gonna end how you think it's gonna end. Tisha, if I hadn't gotten Mercury, could Fiddlesticks have CC'd me? Yes. But I did. But I did get Mercurids. In fact, I got them on my first back. Because I suspected this might happen. After 50,000 ganks. Oh boy, here we go.
Oh, fucking pike. Okay. I actually would have been fine to shed. The QSS was fine. I still had my ult deal damage and dodge fizz shit. That wasn't the issue. The issue was the pike. Let's see, two people of hourglass already. Brilliant. So, I don't have any armor. Zaya probably murders me. So, uh... Oh, you have to be kidding me. Really? What? They shouldn't even have worked. Are you winning? Good job. Oh, you killed him. Oh, yeah. Why do Max E first before W? Because my incredibly important pull, which also gives me my penetration and damage, is a pretty good ability to have. Honestly? Oh shit, you're all. Oh, okay. Who? Wait, what? Huh. That is not how I expected that all to play out. Uh, does Caitlyn see what's going on here? Okay. She, 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 she's like, okay, you, Caitlyn, you have range. Best and worst bruiser. Best is more. Worst is when you fight more. Uh, let's see. QSS on Middley on Pike. Oh, he went fucking Q. The Fizz went QSS now. They're definitely playing yeah, the right. Mord techs, but. There's no R though. I feel like you guys actually won this. You can still get people. Yeah, you guys can get it. That's just fucking everything. Uh, I'm gonna kinda... Unless someone hits something, I'm backing out. Even though it sucks. Get it. Shit. Do you carry me? I'll give you... How many subs you want? Uh, I mean, I, I just want the pleasure of playing this very well-designed, uh, what, what would you call a champion who does primarily magic damage? I'm saying, like, I don't, I don't want subs, I just want the pleasure of playing this magic-y damage kind of character who definitely seems very well-designed and balanced and reasonable, actually. I, I feel like, honestly, if I had to describe it, it would be balanced and, and reasonable. For the amount of skill that's, that's needed, this feels... Okay. Okay, I I need to go by. Like I actually need to go by. Uh okay. Actually, I'm more it's not bullshit. I'm just using these incredibly cheap items which stack amazingly well in order to deal massive amounts of damage which my opponent cannot mitigate and also i'm tanky for some reason Oh boy, this is some fun stuff right here. Now, I want everyone to remember, before this game I mentioned how easy it is to kill people on Mord. What, was I exaggerating? What, was I was I wrong, perhaps? What, was I not just no, insta-giving everyone by basically just hitting my Q? Compare how hard it was to kill people on Mord to how hard it is to kill people on Aatrox. And please just tell me that Currently, mages and bruisers, physical and magical damage is fair. Cause it's just not. I killed Zaya so fast, she literally ulted in the wrong direction. Mages, oh, there's no AP bruiser items. Oh, the, we need, whoa, why did Riot cancel the AP bruiser items? Oh, oh, we're so bad. Look at this item. This is, this item is actually honest to God, insanity. Landry's Torment. Just imagine this. I, I'm gonna write this out and I do this every time. I want I want to write out just how insane this is, okay? Okay, so look at this way. Imagine this was the item. It was 45 damage, okay? 300 HP, and then the 10% more total damage, 
2.5% health per second. Honest to God, I was so disappointed when they never did another Gangplank thing. I actually thought they did his theme incredibly well. I love the announcer. No, they, did, they, did, they did two themes. Well, you don't remember, like, the, when they reworked GP and they had that whole, like update where there's yeah, like the yeah, song killed him and then he came back yeah, yeah they had the song in game and the theme and the game i love that shit i actually thought they did the theme so well it was such a nice change of pace i i actually thought that was so good honestly i i could listen to this thing for a very long time